Hey everyone, Elvin here from KGD Labs um, again showing you a video on how you're gonna align your belts. So on the KGD Core X Y machine based on the Ender tree, uh, there are a couple of things you need to do before you can actually get um, very good printing on a Core X Y machine and we all know that uh, Core X Y machines have belts uh, that are pretty difficult to tighten. So on our Core X Y machine we actually have two tensioners in place. You can find the tensioners on the left and on the right rear of the machine. All right, so we're gonna flash pictures um, to show you uh, where the motors are supposed to be positioned in a secured position. That means that the bolts actually are tightened into the motor. And then um, we're gonna show you right now how belt one is actually being routed. Now there are actually very clear instructions uh, and photos on how belt one, which is the top belt. This is belt one and this is belt two. Belt two is the belt at the bottom. So uh, there are actually photos in the, in the manual. So be sure to check out the latest version of your manual on K3D Labs website which is at k3d.com and this is uh, how it, it's actually uh, loaded right so this video is going to serve as a, uh, a reminder uh, maybe a refresher just to check if your belts are routed correctly all right so the top belt quickly doesn't go to the front of the machine instead it's the it's about two that comes to the front so this belt is going to go to the back of the machine once it goes to the back of the machine the machine it will remain at the top level all right so if you look at the rear you'll realize that there are actually two levels level one is at the top level two is at the bottom so it goes level two it's going to get routed into the model all right and then we're going to tension it all right while tensioning you'll realize that your hot end will start to move don't worry about it all right so it continues routing at level two it misses this model and this is what's going to happen next all right you will realize that your belt is going to come to the front all right so this is where we insert it in if not done so insert it in and then it's going to make contact with this point at this pulley you see this pulley want to know how we know that um the belt is supposed to go through this pulley just because the pulley is at level two it makes sense for the belt to be routed across this way all right so we're going to pull the belt just make sure that we actually pull on the right belt all right so there you go all right and this is when you're going to realize that, that you have a slack on belt one all right so you want to tighten the correct belt just by tugging on it. All right, so there are many ways you can tighten uh, a belt on a core XY machine, but the first belt, the top belt, is also the most important belt. Uh, this belt is gonna help lay the foundation for proper belt tightening uh, with the help of belt two, which is the bottom, bottom belt, all right? So what I have in my hands is a downloadable jig, all right? You can see an arrow down there. This jig is gonna help us uh, determine how much of belt, all right? So if you, if you look at uh, this thing, so you can tell that as I, if you look at the axis in general, if I'm, I'm going to pull this thing, you're going to realize that, can you see, can you see that this thing starts pulling towards the front of the printer? All right, let, let me just show you again real quick. All right, you'll realize that if you tighten belt one, if you pull hard enough, the axis, it will start to tilt. Do you see that? So this is something that is very hard to control and instead of guessing the kind of angle that we're looking at, the kind of tension we're looking at, instead we're going to be using a jig. All right, the jig uses uh, M4 times 8, but uh, of course look at your manual. Uh, be sure to check out the most updated information on the type of screws that are actually provide in the kit. And the M4, the, I believe they are M4 and M4T nuts. They are included in the kit. So this is something that you're going to mount at the back of your 20 uh, x2020 extrusion all right so so at the end of the extrusion you're going to mount this one in using allen key all right and once you mount them in we're ready to proceed for the next stage all right so after we have mounted um the jig on the on the extrusion on the 2020 extrusion this is where uh, things can get a little uh, complicated so uh, do follow along so be sure to always get your zip ties ready you should have four uh two for the top belt on the right side and two for the bottom belt which is belt two on the right side all right so belt again belt one on the top belt two at the bottom all right so if you look at it closely all right so we're just gonna move the uh camera out so don't 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 mind the shakiness all right so you can see that our jig itself all right it's actually not a straight line so you can tell that the jig itself actually has a has a angle to it all right it's actually angled all right with reference to the x the x-axis you can tell that the jig here is actually not straight all right this is because every time we pull it as I explained earlier on it actually um, pulls the x-axis towards the front of the printer all right so this is where 
uh, things can get interesting. All right, so if you look at it closely, every this is actually the correct skew of the x-axis that we want to be looking at. All right, so this can you look at this? There is zero gaps at all between the jig as well as your top plate of RRTP001. All right, so without this gap, this is what we are what we should be looking for. In other words, whatever tension that we have right now on this belt is actually adequate. There is no reason to further tighten belt one. All right, so later on in the process, you're gonna realize that at this angle of belt one, having this angle is gonna be the perfect uh, tension that is required. So at this, uh, without any slack in, in belt one at all, what you wanna do is to be having uh, two pulling motions um, while focusing on this jig, all right, uh, to tighten that one. So we're gonna show you real quick. So as mentioned earlier on, you really want to uh, be making sure that as you're tightening belt one, uh, with the help of cable ties, you're gonna make sure that this thing is actually aligned, all right? The, the skewed surface is actually aligned with RTP001. All right, so do is to make sure that you loop uh, one cable tie first into the top belt, all right? All right, so not too tight, all right? Please don't tighten it. All right, so we just wanna make sure that belt one is tight enough, all right? And then we're gonna push the x-axis all the way to the back just to make sure that this thing is actually aligned together with the jig, all right? So essentially, there are two motions to tightening a belt. There will always be uh, a motion in this direction, all right, towards the left, uh, your left rather, and towards the front of the printer, all right, which is towards you. All right, so we're gonna show you, usually we'll use the right hand, to exit a uh, pulling motion this way and the other hand to pull. All right, so two motions in total. So you, so you just want to make sure that everything is tight, not too tight. All right, remember with reference to this, as long as this thing is tight and we find no slack. All right, you just want to make sure that the belts are seated correctly. All right, as long as there's no slack, this is fine. No slack at all. Just want to make one last check that everything is tightened. So as long as this, is, this thing meets this thing, all right, and it's flush, we are done, all right? It doesn't have to be extremely tight, all right? There you go. So you're just gonna tighten this thing, all right? You're gonna hold both the belts together. And now you're just gonna tighten it, that's all. All right? So same thing, you're gonna use the second one, right? Remember, the belts are supposed to be one finger length apart. All right, this is the second one. Just gonna put it through. And there you go. All right, so now you are actually done with um, the top belt. All right, so belt uh, one is, is done. Move on to belt two, which is the bottom belt. So for belt two is a little bit different. You would have realized that we removed uh, the jig that we used for belt one because we no longer need it. So instead of using uh, the printed part jig, but uh, we're going to use something else instead. So we're going to be using um, Two jigs that that is actually included in your kit. These are AJ001 as well as AJ002. Now you would have realized by now if you have got sharp eyesight that AJ001 and AJ002 has already been mounted for. These are actually dual purposes, dual purpose items included in the kit. All right, so they serve as a alignment jig. That's why AJ001 and two, and they also serve as a purpose to hold up your bottom tube as well as your wire harness. These things X. Uh, as wires and strain reliefs. Alright, so to mount AJ001 and AJ002 is very easy. You're gonna mount it right beside the axis stoppers. Alright, these things hold your Y carriage left plate together and these things hold your right carriage right plate together. So we're gonna mount them quickly onto these two portions and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how we're gonna use AJ001 and AJ002 to our advantage on how we can um, uh, use, uh, utilize uh, belt 2 which is the bottom belt as well as our motor uh, belt tensioning mechanism to ensure that we have a straight aligned and parallel belt all right so um, after you're done with mounting AJ001 um, as well as AJ002 right here right you just want to make sure that they are actually flush, uh, flush sorry against the extrusion all right so uh, another thing that we forgot to mention is that you want to make sure that you're using the correct bolts so um, all the information on the type of bolts that you're supposed to be using as well as the fastener at the bottom, which is most probably a T-nut. Uh, whether it's an M4 or M5, please refer to your user manual.
to make sure that you're using the correct uh, bolts and nuts because they are supposed to be provided in uh, the metal itself. Alright, so um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, AJ001 as well as AJ002 to help determine how much to tighten uh, belt 2 using the technique that we discussed earlier on the two pull motions. Alright, so we just want to make sure that at this point in time we want to be able to move uh, your carriage all right, towards the middle and the rear of the uh, printer itself. All right. So if you cannot, it's probably because your belts are actually uh, not exactly very tension. You must be hooking up to different things. So you just want to make sure that belt two, which is your bottom belt, is running smoothly. All right. So again, a refresher is belt two is the bottom belt that goes to the bottom. It routes to the bottom. All right. It comes to the front, goes through the pulley, and then routes against the bearing at the bottom. All right. So you would have realized by now that belt one takes the top route and belt two takes the bottom route. All right, everything at the bottom belongs to belt two. So belt two goes all the way to the back. All right, so belt two also comes right here, gets into the model. All right, so we're gonna pull it. All right, you have to be very meticulous and ensure that belt two is actually connected to the models. All right, otherwise, the belts are not gonna be working properly gonna ensure that they are at the correct belts. So we're gonna uh, show you pictures again. Uh, if not, you can always refer to your manual on how uh, the exact pictures actually look like uh, for belt 2. So this is the slack that we have. Belt 2 doesn't go all the way to the front, only belt 1 does. Belt 2 comes from the bottom. Alright, there is a bearing at the bottom. So belt 2 will route to the bottom and into the bottom slot All right, of your hot end plate. Alright, so this is what you're gonna do. Alright, so belt one is gonna be in the way, right? It's normal for belt one to be in the way. So you just wanna make sure that you know we keep belt one away uh, for the time being while you work on belt two. So at this point in time you would have realized that belt two is not exactly uh tightened yet, and of course it is not straight. So if you look at your X carriage, you will realize that there is actually a skew. Alright, your X carriage is supposed to be straight, but instead it's actually skewing but this side closer to the front. So don't, don't worry about it, belt 2 is going to help us correct it. Alright, so we're going to, I'm going to show you real quick by mounting the um, camera again in my hands and show you how it's going to happen. Alright, so moving to the back, alright, so you can see that AJ001, which is right here, do forgive us for the uh, lack of a better quality. So this is AJ001. Alright. In a ideal um, belt tightening effort and a session, AJ001 right here, alright, it's gonna make contact with this guy. Alright, the top plate of uh, the model number is RL RLTP001. Alright, and of course AJ002 is gonna make the same contact with this plate. So it makes sense that if AJ001 is touching RLTP001 and AJ002 is touching RRTP002 001 sorry then it would mean that your belts are parallel so we're going to do it real quick to show you a demo I can't do it with one hand so bear with me so you'll realize that as I pull onto belt 2 AJ002 is going to move towards the plate look at that can you see? alright so this is what you're going to do alright you're going to tighten all right, belt two with the help of AJ001 and AJ002. Remember the pulling motion of this way and the other pulling motion of this way. So you're gonna pull um, with that regards and make sure that AJ001 and AJ002 actually meets. All right, so we're gonna show you what um, uh, a line belt actually looks like real quick. Alright, so after AJ001 and AJ002 have, has been aligned uh, because of belt 2, the way you pull it, alright, so you, you have to pull on this on, on belt 2 in order for AJ001 and AJ002 to be touching RLTP as well as RLTP001. Alright, so at the correct belt ten tangent, if, and you think that the tensions are really equal, so what you want to do is to use the cable tie to make sure that your belts are actually uh, secured correctly. Alright, so you're going to fit it in. Alright, once you fit it in, this is what you're going to do to make sure that the belts are tight. Alright, you're going to hold on to the belt. Alright, same thing like what you did earlier on. 
All right, gonna put a careful tie through. All right, it's gonna be a bit tricky, tricky to do. All right, so put a careful tie through. All right, you're gonna try to be as meticulous as you can. All right, so tighten the belts. There are many ways you can tighten the belt. All right, you can tighten the outside, bring it in, and you want to make sure that this thing is tight. All right, so you're gonna tighten this thing. All right, so same thing. You have uh, two cable ties. Remember, it should be about the finger length away, plus minus. All right, so the second belt is right here. We're gonna tighten it the same way. Over here. There you go. All right, we just wanna make sure that things are tight. All right, so once you have tightened belt two, you wanna double check again to make sure that AJ001 and AJ002 uh, uh, aligned uh, with reference to the calibration points that we talked about earlier on. All right, so wait, I'm just gonna show you again. All right, so all the belts are tightened. You just wanna double check the cable ties and make sure they're tight, all right? And then you're gonna look at this. All right, so at the rear, this is at the rear of the machine. You're gonna see the AJ001 is off. We're gonna push it all the way in, all right? And you're gonna realize the AJ001, all right? There you go, a clear view. All right, it's just uh, maybe about, uh, I don't know, 0 0.5 mm away from RLTP. So at the back, you see the same thing, all right? It's actually about 0 0.5 mm because of the angle, all right, away from RLTP001. So this is a perfect uh, belt alignment process by using belt one and belt two. Uh, there is another uh, method, for example, no matter how much you try, belt 2 just wouldn't nudge um, to bring the, the belts to be aligned by using AJ001 and AJ002. Now, if that doesn't work, you can always use um, the rear motor on the right to help align AJ002 and AJ001 towards RLTP001 as well as RLTP002. Alright, if nudging the motor that doesn't work, for example, it can happen if your belts are extremely tight especially if belt 1 is too tight if belt 1 is too tight belt 2 is almost impossible uh, to tighten with uh, genuine gates because they're really robust and tough and are harder to stretch so if that doesn't work it means that belt 1 uh, is a little bit too tight so if that's the case you want to be looking at loosening these four bolts one two three and four all right this loosening these four bolts is going to help release the tension of belt one all right so you can you're going to repeat a whole uh, belt dashing process again should you choose to reduce uh whether a bit or all of the tension on belt one all right so as long as your machine uh, has belts that are tight all right it's gonna produce beautiful prints all right so uh that's all for for the belt uh alignment uh, so that's all for now thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye